Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot, Kansas City Star. Oh, it's misery out there in <clears throat> misery. As Shawnee Mission parents question school district's purchase of semi-automatic rifles. That's right. Apparently, they want to arm the school police with semi-automatic rifles now. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we don't teach prison culture enough. And I'm not advocating for no guns in schools. Believe me, I think teachers should be armed, to be honest with you. I think anybody that can have a gun should have one, personally. But I question the logic in purchasing AR-15s for police in this type of scenario. And I'll explain it in a minute. Kansas City Star reports from his office at the Shawnee Mission School District Administrative Center, John Douglas, the district's director of safety and security, points to a sitting area in the hallway about 25 feet away. He says, if the distance a trained police officer can typically shoot an assailant with accuracy, he says, uh, that's the distance, 25 feet. Next, he points to the door further down the hallway, a distance still much shorter than the typical hallway at Shawnee High School. He says, to expect that I could stop somebody with a pistol from there. He doesn't finish his sentence. Douglas cites the rising threat of active shooter situations as the reason why the district police department has issued eight semi-automatic rifles to the district resources officers who have operated separately from municipal police forces since 1972. Says this is weapon is a very serious weapon for some very limited circumstances. You're never going to see it unless something really, really bad is happening. Now, if that's the case... Okay, I could see that. But there's a couple of problems. The couple of problems are, he's absolutely right. Any more than 30 feet with a handgun, you better be damn good at, at handling your, your sidearm. A sidearm's purpose is to get you to your, your main weapon or your rifle in a combat situation. However, in a school, when you have people running about in a combat shooter, a combat uh, or an active shooter scenario, um, the first thing is, you know, you have to be in the right sort of gear in order to be able to properly use an AR-15. And this situation is unique because you're basically in an enclosed concrete tube when you shoot it. And if you're not wearing hearing pr protection or earplugs, you're going to blow your eardrums out that first round you pop off with an AR-15 in a classroom or anywhere where you're just surrounded by concrete walls because that sound just bounces off those walls back and forth and it actually, you know, that there's actually like a pressure wave that happens from it. And it's it's just because of how loud that rifle is when it, when it goes off. So while police may have access to it, they may pop around off, but next thing you know, they're going to be bleeding from their eardrums. That's uh, number one. So if they do do that, then they make sure, they have to ensure that those police officers or anybody else that has access to those weapons have access to the proper personal protective equipment as well because you could incapacitate people just by the sound alone of one of those fired within a confined space like a hallway. You'd be very surprised at how loud those are. Your best bet, sidearms. And I know he says that, but you know what? Chances are that person that's coming in there isn't as trained as that police officer is going to be and the police officer better be much more proficient with his sidearm and you know as far as 30 feet's concerned I know a lot of people out there with assault rifles that can't hit the broad side of a barn at 30 feet so while the intentions are noble the road to hell my friends is paved by good intentions and I think a better bet would be to arm the teachers and have more sidearms within a shorter distance to the target than relying on that one person that might have to pop a 50-foot shot off. It'd be much better if that teacher was able to do it from 10 feet away than having to rely on a resource officer from 50 feet away. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.